Okay, welcome back to uh, video number seven here. So uh, we've uh, got a lot accomplished here so far. So we're just going to walk just a little bit here uh, because in the hallways, I wanted to just take a peek at the uh, the cubbies that have been installed. Um, of course, there's still a lot of trim work, some blocking trim work to finish everything off there. Um, but those will be for the kindergartners uh, to put their stuff in. And we're going to walk into the preschool classrooms in a minute and see their uh, cubbies as well. So we're standing in now, which is uh, Mrs. Fraliger's uh, preschool classroom. You can see behind me uh, a lot of the windows have been installed in the, uh, the renovated areas. Uh, so the windows are very large. Again, we were going for a lot of light, uh, wanted spaces to be very bright. Um, you can see the casework is in. Uh, again, the sink will be installed over here, which is very small for students to wash their hands. Um, and then we have the teaching wall. Again, very similar setup in every classroom uh, where we have the TV and a couple whiteboards. Um, and then as we pan around the room, um, we have the restroom, um, which is just a private restroom for this pre-K classroom right there. And then, of course, we have cubbies for students to put everything in. Uh, and then, of course, behind is the secured entry. So uh, preschool students will come right into the secured entry and be uh, within their own classroom. So I'm standing in Mrs. Eckberg's office. This is going to be the preschool uh, entry and secured entry and office, and she'll be able to uh, buzz uh, families in through the, the secured entry door. Um, and again, over this direction, uh, we'll be into Mrs. Scriver's room. Uh, and then behind us is where we just were uh, uh, coming into the, uh, uh, the Circle Drive as well. So now we're in Mrs. Scriver's room, the other preschool classroom. Again, we just walked through the uh, secured entry here. Um, uh, the, the restroom, uh, private restroom for this preschool room is right over here. Uh, behind me are the cubbies for the students in this classroom. Uh, and then again, we will have a teaching wall set up. And then as we continue to pan around the room, of course, we have casework uh, and then a sink. And then again, big uh, new windows um, that are being installed here. Still got to get the glass on the bottom uh, in here, but I'm um, going to bring in a lot of light. Okay, so I'm standing in the kindergarten classroom, which is Mrs. Smeltzy's room. Um, the other kindergarten room we're probably not going to get into right now because they're actually putting some finishing uh, paint touches on that one right now. Uh, but again, in all of our um, pre-K through first grade rooms. We do have just a private restroom facility for those students. So uh, again, that's to maximize instructional time. Uh, and then you'll see uh, a lot of the window glazing still has to go into this room, but you can see the frames are installed in this room. Uh, and again, in the back of this room, we do have uh, the casework. The sink is on the far end down here. And then the teaching wall uh, is set up and ready to go as well, just ready for an install of a TV. Um, so really in our pre-K uh, and K rooms, we're getting ready uh, and starting to prep the floors as well because uh, flooring will be the next step. So standing in the commons, uh, like uh, commons cafeteria space, I should say, uh, very busy area in here right now. Um, you can see some of the windows have been installed in the light court. And again, that'll be our preschool uh, play space that will be out there. Um, and you can see a lot of the ceiling soffit is going in as well. Uh, and that's what we uh, what you see over here. Uh, there's a lot of architectural design in the ceiling um, that they put in in a lot of different areas. Um, so a lot of progress in here. Obviously, we still have a lot of supplies sitting in here. So that means there's still a lot of things that has to be done. But uh, again, positive uh, movement. So standing in a third grade classroom now, um, these rooms are getting ready for uh, prep for primer and paint. Um, the, the finishes on the drywall are, are ready to go now. Um, so just above me, we wanted to highlight some of this as well. Um, you can see this, the ceiling soffits that here because the glass garage door, when the ceiling's in, will actually disappear uh, through the ceiling. So this could just be open. Again, we wanted that flow of students to, to be able to have that cooperative learning structures where they could flow in and flow out of the classroom and use the collaborative zones that we have uh, in, in both areas of the addition. Wanted to show you the, the progress on the bathrooms here. And again, the, the, these set of restrooms are really for our second through fourth graders. Uh, more of a public restroom. They don't have the private restrooms like we do pre-K through first. Um, so this is for our second through fourth graders. And again, we kept this open intentionally so teachers can monitor students washing their hands and get them back to class a little bit quicker. Uh, and then, of course, you have to go around uh, and, uh, for privacy to use the restroom. So I'm standing in one of our small group instruction rooms. Uh, directly behind me is actually what this whole space is actually what we call our RTI suite. Uh, so it's response to intervention, um, which our, our teachers here will pull students out 
uh, for enrichment or maybe if they just need some extra supports in reading or math uh, throughout the day. Uh, and these rooms will be utilized for that. So there's actually two rooms, one right next to me and one here, the exact same size, just for small group instruction. And then our teachers will be in the back uh, in an office together. So I wanted to uh, show you the first grade classrooms. We're not going to go in there right now, but you can see there, there are going to be similar. Uh, you really won't be able to tell when they're all finished that they're different from the other classrooms because they will have the glass garage doors uh, in the setup there. Um, but you can see there is a lot of heavy-duty steel uh, and bolts that, that have occurred. And, of course, underneath um, the framing, uh, we do have this concrete shelter in place. And again, as a storm shelter, it's going to be a very secure place for our students in case of severe weather. Um, and then behind us, you'll see that the, the second grade classroom has the glass garage doors installed as well, ready to go. Uh, and again, this first and second grade classrooms will flow out into this collaborative space um, that we have. And our cubbies aren't installed yet, but those will go on kind of the backside near the uh, courtyard. So we're standing in the main office here, finishing up uh, some sheetrock uh, that's happening everywhere here, and then the finishers will uh, follow up there. Uh, this will be Rose, uh, her spot where she'll be sitting. Um, and then uh, over to my right is the, uh, the nurse's office. Uh, and again, around the corner of the nurse's office is a restroom. And then as we uh, continue to walk here, over to my uh, right here is uh, Mrs. Living Goods' office, so that'll be our principal's office. And then as we continue on, over here to my left will be Mrs. Abbott's office, our uh, counselor. And then just right over here is our conference room. And then as we continue on, this is really going to be kind of the teacher's workspace uh, as we'll have copy machines uh, and just some, uh, some storage set up in here so teachers can flow in and out uh, and get ready for, their, uh, re ready for the day. So here I'm standing in the third and fourth grade collaborative zone. Uh, behind me, this is actually will be a glass garage door to the media center. Um, and then over here, you're going to see both the third grade classrooms uh, with the glass garage doors. And again, they are painting those right now. Um, and you can see that actually occurring. Uh, and then all the way behind us is the fourth grade rooms. You can see the glass garage doors are there. And again, those will uh, pop open as well. So I wanted to uh, stop in the media center here in the library and just get a couple uh, shots of this. You can see, again, there's some interesting ceiling details and soffits that are going in. Uh, this is actually going to be more of a collaborative zone again as well. And almost a teaching wall that we're going to have here in the media center set up. Um, and then uh, behind me over here, um, this area, they're starting to lay it out right now, will actually be the learning stairs. Um, so it's just really a, a, like three or four steps for students, uh, and they can sit, just relax, read a book, um, whatever, you, whatever have you there. Uh, and then on the back side is the light court, so you can see we have that letting some light, some natural light in here to the media center. Um, and things are, are moving well in here now as well. So we're standing in Tiny Town. Um, the carpet has been laid, and I know they have some other pads down to protect the carpet right now. Uh, but the gray areas in the middle are kind of meant to resemble sidewalks, and obviously the green uh, carpet is supposed to resemble grass. Um, we have had a little spot over here for a little pond. Uh, of course, we have the RV and little boat set up that we'll have in here. Uh, and this is really one-of-a-kind spaces. There's really not... Uh, anybody around us that has anything like this. So it's very unique to our district um, and something that we think is very beneficial for our students. Um, and then all the way behind me through the alcove um, is, the, is a restroom um, just for Tiny Town when students are in here. So behind me is the kitchen entrance that, again, that students will come off the commons and they will come through here. Uh, we can't go in here right now. They are starting to prep the floors in the kitchen. Um, this is where we will have uh, epoxy floors going down. So they're just getting all that ready. So these are the new uh, concession stand windows. You can see both have been cut out. Uh, in the back of each, there's actually a, a storage room that we'll have a lot just for our different concessions that we host here. Uh, because, yes, this is an elementary building. We still use the gym a lot. We will use the gym a lot for different high school activities and different community events. This building has always been a community hub. Uh, we want to continue that. So I'm standing right in front of what we call the specials hallway. We're just going to kind of cruise right uh, down the hallway and check everything out. Um, right over here to my uh, right is the art classroom, which there's an entry from uh, this side, but there's also an entry from the, the specials hallway that we're going to walk through. 
So as we head down, uh, again, over here is the flex classroom. Same idea. You can get into the flex classroom from this hallway, but there's also another entry down here. So we're going to go ahead and walk that way. You can see this area is really pretty much ready for flooring, uh, ready to be finished here, ready to have the ceiling installed, uh, and really ready to turn these over. And I would bet probably in the next two to three weeks here, we're gonna see the renovation side pretty much wrap up. Um, and they're really wanting to close this off, close this renovation side off and really focus on the new addition. Uh, so again, we're gonna walk by what is the flex classroom, just the other side of that. And then we're walking in past the art, and then over here to my left is the teacher's lounge and the teachers, for the first time ever in our elementary, teachers will have their own restroom uh, in the back, which they're probably excited about. And then we're gonna just keep walking and walk into the music room. which um, behind me you can see the windows have been installed, still have some of the, the glazing that's got to occur, uh, and we still will have a floor-to-ceiling window that will go in where this old set of doors were, uh, so that still has to happen. Um, but whiteboards are up, teaching wall is up. Again, similar setup with all of our classrooms, uh, and then casework is up as well. So behind me, we're in the STEM room. You can see that the glass garage door has been installed. Uh, it is uh, slightly up right now, uh, which we, we uh, will do during our school day as well uh, and have students flow in and out of this room. Um, and this room, again, is pretty much ready to go to. There is a lot of things. They're, they're housing in here is kind of a supply warehouse. Um, but once they get a lot of these things installed, uh, they will get to a point where they can uh, finish the floors and the ceiling and, and turn this over as well. So wanted to finish here in the gym. I've been asked a few times a little bit about the gym this summer. Um, still going to be out of commission this summer, unfortunately. Uh, as you can see behind me, we wanted to show you part of the process is there's just a lot of supplies. Um, so uh, there is a lot of work that will occur in here this summer, um, but we're still you know, probably looking at that August, September before we can really turn this over uh, back to our, our community and back to our students to, to start using. So a little bit of time left there. Um, and of course, just kind of a final update on the timeline. As I said, the renovation side, we're looking at about two to three weeks um, and, and really wrapping that side up and then hoping to get all the manpower out towards the addition. Uh, and again, progress is happening on time, on budget. Uh, the issue is really the, um, the electrical switch gear. Um, so since day one, that's been something they've been very upfront with us on. So we can't necessarily give an exact move in timeline date yet because we don't know when we're, that's going to be shipped to us yet. Um, so we're hoping that's going to be shipped in, in August and then we could have a potential move in early date in October. Um, but I'm going to have a lot of information that we're going to put out to uh, staff. Uh, to our community about all of those dates and we are going to have to be somewhat flexible based on you know that that ship date of that electrical gear